Hi YouTube, welcome to a WT Tech video, the first of potentially many and the first of at least two videos. Today I'm going to be talking about DC iris control, which relates to auto DC iris control. So what we're talking about is CCTV lenses here or camera lenses. Um, inside these lenses lots of things go on, or at least three things go on generally, uh, but I'm going to be focusing on the iris control. The iris is a shutter that opens and closes inside, often automatically, but sometimes it's desired that it opens manually so that you can operate an electronic or an electrical um, iris with an input, with a user input such as a turning of a potentiometer. For example, in night vision equipment, some people, uh, with the cameras aren't naturally uh, designed a lot of the time to play around with the, the infrared spectrum, so the automatic function hasn't been uh, worked on by people to make it work every time and to, I don't know, uh, someone who's shooting uh, work to their de demands if you like. So. Let me talk you through this here. So you can see we have the lens in this hand, we have a control board which I'll talk you through maybe a little bit more. And it's very simple, so there's two wires that go from the camera, and this is compatible with any camera, into the board. Uh, they go into the top of the connector, but I can post schematics or whatever if people wish. Uh, if you get them the wrong way around, you can't break anything. The, the, the uh, chip here is ultra low power, it's very low power, thanks to the AT Tiny running on the chip, which is an Atmel AVR chip. Um, voltage input uh, can range anywhere between 7 and 35 volts I think the uh, voltage regulator is spec to so I've got a, a 9 volt battery here so let's connect that on there ok so hopefully I've learned this up properly right you can see down the lens now that we've got an iris uh, open almost fully open this iris doesn't look fully open I think it may be slightly damaged the camera lens it was a second hand one off ebay so the question I was given, wouldn't it be great if you control this iris accurately with a potentiometer or a knob or some kind of like very simple user input. So here we go. So as we make full um, use of this turn of the potentiometer, you will see that the iris gradually and incrementally gets smaller and larger with great control. So again, I'm not like having to be really fine with this. I'm being quite coarse with my movement and it's gradually moving the iris. So if you imagine you were doing night vision shooting and you wanted to uh, manually make the arrow smaller or bigger then this is a great system to do it so yeah we've got full all the way to closed the device is very quiet as well there's no like uh, there's no rattling or there's no like noise so if you're shooting at night uh, again I need to have it mounted the scope for going or something it's nice and quiet so there you go uh, so this is version one version two it's going to have a um, different sort of user input, I'm not going to reveal that in this episode, but you have to wait and see. Uh, but the board is nicely simply laid out, we've got very few components on the board. The brains is obviously the chip I've told you about. I stuck this down for the video. So we've got a very it's a small amount of components, but the brains are like on the chip, like I say. Uh, it's quite a neat little board, I'll disconnect all this. Some diode protection on there, in case someone, someone wires it up wrong. Uh, the back's pretty straightforward, it's got some nice labels. For example, uh, see this camera focuses. We've got a ground, send 35 volts, iris plus, iris negative, version 1 on the bottom there. Uh, one jumper in there because I didn't foresee something minor. So, yeah, that's the setup. Thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, maybe even consider subscribing. Uh, version 2 will be out soon. I'm waiting for a part in the post and then I'll design that board and show you that. And probably video 3 will be showing this thing in action so thanks now any questions please let me know cheers